Pro Wrestling Weekly presents Today in Wrestling History, August 3. On this date in 1997, the World Wrestling Federation held its SummerSlam pay-per-view. In the main event, Bret the Hitman Hart defeated The Undertaker with Shawn Michaels as the guest referee to win the World Wrestling Federation Championship. On this date in 1998, WCW Monday Nitro aired live from Denver, Colorado. In the main event, Scott Hall and The Giant defeated Bret Hart and Sting by disqualification. On this date in 2009, WWE Monday Night Raw aired live from the Mohegan Sun Casino in Uncasville, Connecticut. In the main event, John Cena defeated The Miz in a lumberjack match. This has been Today in Wrestling History, August 3. Hi, this is Jim Cornette, and you're listening to Pro Wrestling Weekly with Furon Derry on 1490 WBCB. Welcome back to Pro Wrestling Weekly here on 1490 WBCB and online at WBCB1490.com. Ferran Derry here alongside Lucas the Intern talking all kinds of stuff wrestling. Let's go to the phones. Ed's been hanging on. Ed the Showstopper. Ed, what's going on? I'll, I'll keep this short. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Uh, Are you too close to your radio? Back off it a little bit. How about now? Good. There we go. We're good. Uh, sorry about that. It's all right. <laughs> anyway, uh, September 7th at the ISON Center, WWE Live, and... A uh, little bit of a hike up north. Try to uh, try to recreate the magic from the night after WrestleMania up at the ISON Center. Uh, BTW in Altoona next weekend, and in... I think it's Pittsburgh with Bell Vernon, PA, with a 3 p.m. bell time. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't, I, even if I hopped on a Learjet now, I don't know if I'd be able to get there for 3 o'clock today. Uh, uh, Pittsburgh. That show, that show tonight, what time is that? Which one? Uh, the Triple WA. Oh, yes, Triple WA. Uh, that's... Uh, Oh, goodness. Uh, you'd think I'd remember this. It's, I believe, a 7 o'clock bell time. It's right over in Bristol over here. Uh, Dino Santa, of course, uh, the owner of Triple WA, calling up last week and uh, talking about it. I'm going to grab a little bit of a cat nap this afternoon and then make my way over to there. It uh, should be a good show, as they always put on. Thanks. And don't forget, WrestleMania is on tonight. Ah, uh, yes. In case you missed WrestleMania 29, the NBC special that's going to be airing uh, tonight. I uh, forget if that's 8 or 9 o'clock. I'd say check your local listings. I, or, think, it's, I think it was 9 o'clock. Yeah, they usually do 9 o'clock for that, for the yeah. one-hour special, Cena and The Rock. Yeah, but are those like the highlights, or is it like the whole thing? Oh, no, it's the highlights. Yeah. It's going to be an hour special that kind of encompasses everything that was WrestleMania, the four-hour event, into a one-hour NBC Network special. They do that every year. It pops a decent rating. It's better than whatever else NBC would throw out on a Saturday night. I can never find out when they air Tribute to the Troops. That's always a hard one for me to find. Well, they bounced around. They used to do it on NBC. They, uh, they used to do it on, uh, I mean, they did it on USA Network. They usually do it right around Christmas time. Like Christmas week is when they do Tributes to the Troops. So that's usually the time to look for it. Uh, Ed, uh, got anything else to throw out there? Not really. All righty. Sounds like a plan. Thanks so much for the call. See you tonight. Yep, sounds like a plan. They don't call him Ed the Showstopper for nothing. All right, quick news and note. Dixie Carter finally asking or answering the Ask Dixie questions, uh, but the ones that she chose. Carter, on the use of MMA fighters in TNA, we mentioned that earlier. Don't uh, People forget that King Mo is a wrestler first and foremost. He won multiple medals, including several gold medals in the World Cup, Pan American Championships, and U.S. Championships, and is a Division I All-American Rampage Jackson began his career as a wrestler, too. Rampage is a film star. Both have big personalities, successful MMA careers, and substantial national media attention within the sports world. They've never worked for our competitor, and they both want to do whatever it takes to dominate professional wrestling. I'm open to anyone who fits that bill, and the fact that Bellator CEO Bjorn Rebney and I can work together and cross-promote is a great added benefit for impact exposure outside of wrestling. Wasn't Rampage Jackson on uh, as, I guess, part of a guest host of Raw when they had the cast of the A-Team on there a couple years ago? I'm not sure. I think he was, but... Uh, so, I mean, he may not have you know he may not have worked for them per se, but he was at least on Raw at one point. 
Uh, Carter on King Mo's future. We underestimated how long it would take Mo to recover from the complications he had following surgery. By the time he was cleared to wrestle, he had to start training for his upcoming fights. Rampage will fight a few major pay-per-view events for Bellator, while King Mo is fighting more frequently in the tournaments. Hopefully, Mo will start training again right after his title fight, and we'll see him in the ring soon. And finally, Dixie answering about hurtful fan comments. I have no problem with negative comments or constructive criticism, but the outrageous posts and bad language are a totally different thing, especially with so many children paying attention on social media. Pretty much a fluff piece. That's pretty much all that was. All right, I've got about eight minutes here to get through 14 other signs that you're a pro wrestling fan. 15 and... Seeing as you're 15, I would hope that you're not put into this one. But if put in an amateur strip contest, you just do a bad Shawn Michaels imitation. Oh, heck no. 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 Nah, he, he, that's not a good one. I need yeah, to teach yeah. him how to that's dance. That's not a good one. Boo. Could, that is just... Oh. That's not a good one. Yeah, well, I didn't say they were all Well, winners. no, I'm not, I'm not faulting you by any means. I'm yeah, just, I'm just reading them. Exactly. I didn't write these. I'm not shooting the messenger. I'm just... Hey, okay, that's good. Yeah. Duly noted. Shooting the messenger, excuse me. Yeah, something like... Or even shooting on the messenger. Right. <laughs> But, no, 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 right. trust me. With, with me, they'd yell, put it on, put it on. <laughs> <laughs> right, number, number 16. Every time you have something important to say, you'd feel more comfortable hold, holding a microphone, which is what I do every time I'm in here. I tried that at home. My wife said, put it down. I'm sure she did. Put it down. Number 17. You have one or two really, still really special T-shirts, and they have pictured here like the NWO, Austin 316, Hulkamania, Just Bring It, and even the ECFNW t-shirt. Not me. I don't know. I've, I've got the NWO and the Austin 316 nah. from a while back. Nah. Number 18, you've seen more TV weddings than most soap opera fans. <laughs> and they have pictures of Randy Savage and Elizabeth, oh Tess boy. and Stephanie McMahon, Chuck Palumbo and Billy Gunn. Oh, yes, the gay wedding. Yeah, from, right. uh, oh, yeah, from, publicity stunt. It was really... Uh, yeah, the, the gay publicity stunt. Uh, Kane and Lita. Kane and uh, Lita. And, oh, gosh, from 2003, Dawn Marie and Al Wilson, Tori Wilson's father. Yeah. It, what about uh, Edge and Vicky Guerrero? That one was the best. Yeah, well, I mean, this is out. just what they had pictured. They didn't even... All right, number 19. Every time you shave, you think, yeah, I could do a blade job, no problem. And then you nick yourself. What... Oh, yeah, oh when God. Up. Yeah, when yeah. The, when the, yeah, exactly. You nick your, I know, you're, you're a little young to be shaving, so That's uh, another you food. haven't quite gotten oh, there. Did, like, the, uh, the forehead, yeah, you don't shave your forehead. No. And I'm wrestlers sure. never bleed around the mouth. I mean, no, excuse me, they never bleed on the side of the face. No. They might bleed from the mouth, but never from the side of the face. No, exactly. That's, that's, that's a fool. Number 20, you have a potentially dangerous urge to jump off ladders. Uh, I've uh, thought about it. No. <laughs> I did not. I, I, uh, my dad and I, we, I used to, uh, do yard work with him. I used to after what I did. I didn't jump off the top of the ladder. We were at the side of the house, but I did like a, uh, like, what I had done was I got up like three spokes because I was like little, but I did like the Shawn Michaels thing. But oh, just, okay, like, like the leaping splash that yeah, you see like, in the highlights on Razor smart. Ramon. I was smart. And, and landed I went, on your feet? And then just did a barrel roll, and I'm just like, yay. Now, uh, that's about, yeah, exactly, with He's nothing like, to break not gonna, your fall. We're going we're gonna to block SmackDown for a little bit, Lucas. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Okay. How'd that work out for you? <laughs> I was very defiant. I snuck it over my friend's house, and he doesn't even like wrestling. He doesn't even... <laughs> Turn this off, Lucas, please. Oh, man. All right. Number 21, you've inadvertently trained the secret co code language of the business. In other words, you know that the reason the heel potatoed the face during the finish last night was because the face was green and sandbagging. No selling like a jabroni. Now he knows that if he tries to get out of doing the job and dropping the strap, he'll get busted open the hard way. What? <laughs> Well, okay, that one won't apply to you. There's time for you to learn. No, I mean, like, because the crowd does, like, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, number 22, you're also fluent in Steinerese, and they have the uh, the quote from Scott Steiner uh, from, gosh, a few years ago where he was in that triple threat match with uh, Samoa Joe, and, uh, yeah, the 75% chance of winning plus the 66 and two-thirds percent chance means that Scott Steiner has 141 and two-thirds percent <laughs> chance of winning. It's math that would make you cringe. You won't be learning it in algebra this year, trust me. Uh, I, I saw him a couple of years ago. I think I saw him before that triple threat match, and I felt like if he flexes any more, I think he's going to explode. <laughs> Big pop he, is, he, is, he is deflated a little bit since then. I saw him recently at the House of Hardcore show. 
I he looks like, a little bit more normal. I feel like after after he's done wrestling, he's going to be really, really fat. It's like because <laughs> of all this stuff. All right, I got two minutes to get through the last like six here. Number 23, any debate over the strongest man in the world has to include Brock Lesnar, Bill Goldberg, or Mark Henry. Otherwise, it's just not valid. <laughs> Number 24, you consider yourself a Monday Night Wars buff, Ron Nitro. Number 25, you know more about the Montreal screw job than the Kennedy assassination. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think everybody knows more about it. It's a lot more yeah. cut and dry. Uh, you know. As they put it here, everyone knows Kennedy screwed Kennedy. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. You, you, I'll, I'll tell you more about that later. There's, there's still time. It's only day one of your internship. Number 26, you think everything is a work. Everything. Hmm. Number 27, you remember where you were when you heard about Owen, Eddie, and countless others. I know you were in diapers for most of it or uh, you know, maybe in Eddie, elementary I was, school. Eddie, I was like... I didn't even watch wrestling when Eddie died, but I, you know. Yeah, I could I go into a long ta- tangent about that. Actually, yeah, Eddie, I didn't even hear about. By that point, I actually kind of faded out for a little while and read about it in the newspaper, like, like, the next oh, God, day. I'm watch it again. What have I done? <laughs> uh, a little bit. But, Owen, I was watching the Over the Edge pay-per-view in May of 1999, they, May 23rd, they, 1999. Well, my question is, is, like, was that the last match? Like, did they stop it immediately, I'm guessing? No, they kept the pay-per-view going. What? Yeah, there's no there's way. a lot for you to learn, young buck. I actually oh have, I, I think I have that pay-per-view. Yeah, I, I taped that pay-per-view, so I still have it. That'll have to be a homework. Is it, like, how, was it horrible to watch? Like, is it hard to watch? They had to literally push Jeff Jarrett and Deborah through the curtain. I mean, Jeff and Owen were on the road together along with Deborah at that point. They were a tag team on and off. Yeah. And I mean, they were just inconsolable, but they had to be pushed through the curtain for their match. It was like it, it was it was terrible. So it's so like, but they knew he was dead, like right then and there. Well, they I don't think they had made the announcement yet, but I mean, because about an hour had passed from when the fall happened to when Jim Ross announced over the air that he had passed. Man, we're ending on a sour note here. Let's change yeah, that. Yeah. Number twenty eight. The final one here. Maybe you still watch, maybe you don't, but a big part of your childhood remains in front of that TV screen, respecting the hell out of the men and women who put their bodies on the line, making you think that superheroes exist, that you can, in fact, get back at your boss or get even with your boss, and that boyhood dreams really come true, and that the Ultimate Warrior was once really, really cool. (laughs) Oh, boy. Thank you to BuzzFeed.com for that. They also put at the end, it's still real to you, damn it. From the infamous, yeah, the quiet crying wrestling fan. All right, Lucas, welcome aboard. Thanks for an interesting show so far. There's plenty more to come. Hopefully you won't be running away screaming as soon as we sign off the air here like any second. Stay tuned. Nick Cataldi, he's got country next. And I'll be back next week along with Lucas, hopefully, for more Pro Wrestling Weekly on 1490 WBCB. 1490 WBCB, Levittown, Perilous Hills, Trenton.